I've got another one of these ideas and then I'll probably stop for today. But this came to me more recently uh, when I was watching Paranormal Activity 2. And um, this has kind of got a, a kind of got a theme going here because it's it's kind of this weird spike out of control like uh, like shit just got like really stupid kind of movie. Okay, so Paranormal Activity two. It's actually a pretty good movie. You should probably go see that one before this because I'm gonna be spoiling. Th I'm gonna be spoiling stuff. I'm gonna be swearing, and it's probably not gonna make a lot of sense. And if it makes you laugh, then whoop de doo. Okay, and uh, just just go watch it. And if you've seen it, then try to catch up. I know I've I've been confusing as hell so far, so um, I'm 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 sorry. Okay, so Paranormal Activity. The end comes up, and you know that. Uh, frickin', you know, the chick from the first movie, and of course, I can't remember her name, but, um, alright, you've got the sister from the first movie, and she comes in, she's totally possessed because the first paranormal activity ended, so she's coming to reap revenge on her sister's house, and the shit's gone down because she just snaps the dad's neck, and, you know, we were all waiting for that to come, it was awesome. I mean, it could have been bigger, like, it could have been like a snap and a gush of, like, blood from his head, because we all hated that fucking dad from the second movie. He was such an asshole. And a, a giant dumbass for not realizing that, you know, the, no one's fucked around with the footage. If this shit's happening, I'd be out of this house. So... Okay, so, dad's dead. Uh, the daughter, the daughter's not there. But, um, you know, so... Possessed sister goes up to normal sister's room, and the normal sister's like, what are you doing? And then bl blast against the camera, and the possessed sister takes the baby out, and they walk out, and, you know, the, the, the frickin', the black screen comes up with the, the, the words that they were never found again. So, but this is where things, this is where things come in, though. So, the thing that they didn't notice here is that they left, they left, it like, a, a cliffhanger. They, they did this unintentionally, that... That daughter, though, the daughter had to come back, though. She had to come back. Uh, I'm sorry, the daughter in the second movie, the teenage daughter, she had to come back after her trip. And she had to have come to see that her, her father and his, his wife dead. She's basically an orphan now. And if, if you can tell where I'm going with here, then you're already on track. You, you, we're good. So, we've got an orphan child now. She wants revenge. She is fucking, she knew this the whole time. She's been studying up demons before, but it's all, it's all novice stuff. It's all stuff that she's been looking up on the internet. But no, she wants vengeance now. She wants blood for blood, or in this case, you know, blood for demon blood. Uh, strike that. Reserve, reverse it. Okay. Um, but she doesn't know what to do now. She's on her own. She's living on the fucking streets. She's got her, like, her video camera trying to blog about this, like, um, oh man, maybe I'll put this on YouTube or, or something like that. But no, uh, the only person that she can go to, though, is the Mexican maid. So she arrives maid. at the Mexican maid's house, and, like, you know, she's, she bans on the door, and she opens up, and she's like, I don't know, what are you doing here? And the daughter's just like, please, help me. I can't live like this anymore. The, the vengeance and everything. Insert lines and, and dialogue here. So, then this is the kicker though. So, the Mexican maid is like, Si, sí, come. So, and it turns out that like this Mexican maid is actually a member, a member of a secret organization of demon slayers. You know, the hand of God kind of branch, the hidden, unknown secret organization of like, the Pope, or of uh, the Vatican. So, you know, she, they take her to her basement, and she shows her all of this, like, m like memorabilia of killing demons, and, like, pictures of her and the old group and her training squadron and shit, and just books upon volumes of how demons work. And the daughter's like, oh my god, what, like, sh this is in reality, this is in the reality setting of the movie, she's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why do you have all this? And so she reveals herself, and she's like, you know, I have been slaying demons for hundreds of years. I've been able to live this long, but, you know, they, oh, it escaped us, and now we have this one to deal with, you know. And, um, so they start looking up Toby, because, you know, that's his name from the third movie, the third paranormal activity. So they start looking up Toby and stuff, and, like, he's been in existence for, like, he's been around for years. He's been since around, like, Jesus' time. He's been around since, like, the Renaissance, and he's just popping up places, and now he's here to make this deal. 
So, like, they already they have to get, they get to their, their plan, and the plan is right now that the coven knows the secret of how to get rid of Toby. You know, the witch coven, um, grandma's, great-grandma's coven from the third movie, you know, the, the, the bitches in black, witches in black, who, um, basically erased their, her granddaughter's mind so they wouldn't remember all of the shit that happened when they were kids in the third movie. But they know that this covenant here, they are going to have the answers that they're going to need. So that's where it hits, that's where that leaves off though. Then we turn to the 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 um, POV of the possessed daughter or right the possessed sister and Toby and like you know it it flashes back to that night and she brings you know she brings her sister's um, boy baby you know and offers it to Toby and but Toby doesn't like eat it or anything Toby's just like you know uh, gives it this weird devil blessing because remember in the third movie Toby and the young her younger sister got married right so that means that that boy is Toby's in a stupid sense but it's still so Toby's just basically like uh, this is going to be my new antichrist oh he will become like the slayer of men and the bringer of the end of the world and the possessed sister she's not really possessed anymore she's she's starting to turn for the other side she's just naturally becoming evil now because of all the shit that's gone wrong she sold her soul she knows what's going on so she starts to get in on this whole evil thing and this is where it gets really fucked up because then she and Toby start going out into the night like she just goes in like as a normal person to the real world but she's like murdering people in the street she's trying to get more blood for like sacrifices and shit for Toby's survival or for Toby's demon bloodlust and Toby's doing the same thing with like the invisible uh, demonic scary shit like in the paranormal activity movies you know he's just doing demon stuff and you know they need enough blood so that um, so that the boy, the bait, or you know, Toby's son, can become like an ultimate de like demi demon god, demi demon god. There we go. So while that shit's going on, though, so like times on the uh, times on the essence now, because like, you know, the hand of god, the the hand of god guild with uh, the Mexican maid, they they don't have much time now. They've really got to uh, find out the answers. So that's what they do.